amigos. Mi abuela sent me a postcard. She wants me to visit her in the temperate grassland. What's a temperate grassland? Let's ask the map. Well, the temperate grasslands are located on every continent except Antarctica. They are called the prairies in North America, the steppes in Russia, the pampas in South America, and the veldts in South Africa. Gracias, Mapa. The veldt? That sounds scary. I bet they have ferocious animals. Mi abuela's postcard had a picture of a saiga antelope. Want to see? What is that thing? It's an animal that lives in the temperate grasslands. Saiga antelope run really rapido because there are no hiding spots in the grasslands, and they don't want to die. I hope it doesn't eat monkeys. Don't worry. It only eats grass, like bison. Since they eat so much grass, they have a special digestive system. Their digestive system soaks up all the nutrients in grass. They have grande hooves. That's right. They're ungulates. What's an ungulate? Ungulates are hoofed animals. A lot of animals have hooves in the temperate grasslands because it helps them to walk on the hard ground, like the white-tailed deer. So does that mean the ground is too hard for plants to grow? No. The soil is dark and fertile because of the decomposition of grasses. So there's mucho grass? Well, Boots, it is called the grasslands. The most common type of grass is the buffalo grass. It has wide root systems to conserve agua. Is there a lot of agua? It does rain moderately. It rains between 10 and 35 inches and 50.8 and 127 centimeters a year. Don't forget an umbrella. A scarf would be more helpful. In the winter, the temperate grasslands can get as frio as negative 40 degrees Celsius or zero degrees Fahrenheit. Brr, that's freezing. How do plants survive? Well, clovers bud below the ground, and that protects against the cold. Does it ever get caliente? Of course it does. In the summer, it can get up to 38 degrees Celsius and 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Can flowers even grow when it's that caliente? Of course they can. Wild indigos have narrow, upright stems that reduce heat gain in the summer. Sounds like there's mucho plants and animals in the temperate grasslands. Take lots of pictures. Oh, I will. Backpack has my camera and map all set so I don't get lost. Adios, boots. Good luck on your adventure and bring me back a four-leaf clover. Adios!